the gifts of today, and we thank you for the opportunity to be provided for and to provide for our families out here. I just pray a blessing of safety and of efficiency over this pour, that things would go smoothly and that things would go correctly and that everybody would be mindful and at their best. And Lord, we just give it to you and put it in your hands. We love and praise you and in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 the star of the show for today, the pump truck. That is one serious piece of machinery right there. Okay, tell me the truth. After, after how many of these have you done? I mean, does that get boring? Because that just seems like I just like a kid watching a trash truck every time. It is pretty Okay, all right, cool. I'm just making sure that I wasn't being really weird. Joe, is this where the magic happens? Yep, this is where the magic happens. This is where the magic happens. <laughs> Mr. Dakota, can I ask you a question? Yes, sir. How long before, how long from when that drops in there to when it comes out the, on the wall? Speed or volume? Uh, speed. About 30 seconds, 45 seconds. Oh, wow, that's crazy. And what about volume? You, you get you. Uh, about three quarters of a yard to fill the pipe. Okay. From one end to the other. Wow, that's great. What's up, Internet Land? Okay, so just to wrap up this video, I thought we would do a little bit of a uh, why ICF. Okay, so basically, here's the here's the the gist of it. What you just saw happen in that video was was basically a small crew of guys um, built a 40 by 28 with uh, another extra 26 by 8 off offshoot. You guys saw all of that. Um, they built the whole thing and filled it with concrete. Those walls are now um, curing. They're solid right now, but they're they're curing. And um, and they did that in uh, less than five days. In fact, it would have been done in probably three and a half days, um, but they had a trailer problem and we had a hard time getting rebar here. And, and so there was just, there was a lot of that. We basically chose ICF from, for speed um, and efficiency. So uh, the, the fact that it went up so fast, but also the super insulative properties of ICF is such a huge aspect of why we chose this, 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 this particular building material. If you've never seen it before, um, they're essentially giant uh, styrofoam Lego blocks. Um, this one's been cut down. Um, they are, I think they're, I think they're four feet long typically. Uh, they're tongue and groove on both ends. They got the teeth um, and then the, the, the teeth on the bottom alternate. They stack together super quick. They got a, a they got a, 
a polymer mesh inside of them and they're super cool because the the these guys right here this is where the rebar locks in um so there's so a lot of people think there's no steel in these walls there's absolutely steel uh and gobs of it listen i watched them put hundreds and hundreds of pounds uh, of steel in these things. Um, they lock in top and bottom. Each row gets a bunch of steel. And then there are clips that lock each level together. And there are clips that lock the corners together. Um, I don't have a corner block to show you, but they're, the, the corners are, are prefab and made. Um, that's one of the biggest things they need to know when, when you're ordering ICF is how many corners do you have, right? So we had more corners. We had to change the design a little bit based on how the hole came out. And it, and, and it worked out really well because we were able to shift that design on the fly partially because of where we live and the lack of building codes and, 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 and things like we didn't have to go back to the engineers. We didn't have to go do any of those things because we were able to build this how we wanted it to be. This is a full basement. Um, it's not a walkout. So there's going to be, there's going to be two entrances and exits to, to the above ground, the stairway and that we're going to be building our blast doors. You're going to see all that stuff's coming down the pipe. Is this the cheapest option? Well, define cheapest because in the long run, the energy efficiency that we will receive in this basement, um, and most basements are pretty energy efficient, but uh, the insulative properties of this is absolutely out of this world. If I would have had the budget, my whole house all the way up, this is the uh, the barn dominium side. You're gonna see all of this come together. Uh, so, so basement, main level, and then master loft will go above that. Um, and, uh, and then we're actually standing in what will be the shop, uh, portion of this. So, um, from the outset, it's going to look like a very simple, um, barn. Uh, and then from the back, it'll look more like a little bit of a beautiful house. Cause we're gonna have a nice big deck that overlooks those, those, uh, those trees and that little valley. And it's going to be really cool. And, and then this will be covered with a product called light deck, effectively making this a FEMA rated storm shelter. Um, you know, we jokingly call it a bunker. I mean, and it kind of is, um, especially when we build out the blast doors and things for it. We did our penetrations. In fact, you can see right there is one of our penetrations for our air system. Um, that's going to be our, um, our over, over pressure blast valve. And then over there, the high point is going to be our inlet, um, where we'll pull air from. So that's going to be really, really nice. Um, but, but we chose to do this for the speed. Um, and, and I'm not going to call it the cheapest method of building by any stretch of the imagination, but the amount of labor that you use is way less. So the product costs more. Um, the, 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 the know-how and the wisdom to, to know how to build this costs more. Um, and I'll be really honest with you. And I told, um, I told my contractor, David, um, that, uh, and he's only my contractor for this. I'm building the rest of the house. Okay. Um, but I told my contractor, David, that I, I really wanted to build this myself. Um, and, and I truly believe that I could have built this myself. Um, the problem was, is when we started talking about putting light deck across the top, which is going to be a 14 inch concrete, um, uh, uh, floor that, that spans this, um, from side to side. Uh, and the only penetrations in it will be the stairway and the emergency exit. It, that's going to be such a huge, uh, undertaking. And I didn't, there's not enough resources out there. There's not enough, um, uh, stuff on YouTube university on how to get that right and how to set that up. And that actually is the component where, uh, um, ICF walls of the Ozarks, they are going to be, they will use an engineer to engineer my floor. So that's why we're doing ICF. It's speed, it's cost effectiveness, it's insulative properties. Um, very, very exciting. Um, so uh, we'll be putting um, PEX uh, in-floor heating in this, not in that portion, because that's gonna be uh, root cellar storage. That, that emergency exit zone is also gonna be used for our uh, long-term storage stuff. So that's pretty exciting. You're gonna wanna hang out and watch how that whole thing comes together. Um, as we start walking toward being more self-sufficient, right? Uh, it's gonna be really, really important that we um, have places where we are not dependent on power. That's one of the big portions of this. We're gonna do our best to make this an off-grid property. This is gonna be a really fun project. I hope you guys tune in. Um, but, uh, and if you're, if you're in 
um, Missouri, Arkansas, Oklahoma, Kansas. Uh, um, you guys, you guys should get a hold of, of David Samples and ICF Walls of the Ozarks. I'm just going to tell you right now, it is an, a company entirely made up of Jesus people. Um, they are. Uh, uh, the best work ethic, the best attitudes. I mean, it's just absolutely wonderful. Um, I, would, I would absolutely call every single one of the people that I've been hanging out with um, for the last five or six days uh, my friends at this point. They are that cool, okay? So uh, please stay tuned. If you've made it this deep into the video, God bless you. Please hit like, um, uh, forward this to a friend, hit subscribe. Maybe you've got a friend or you are thinking about building a house this year. Come along and watch with us. Uh, we're gonna try to do things just a little bit differently. A lot of people on YouTube, they build something and then they ask your opinion after it's already built so you can't really contribute. And we're gonna try to tell you what we're gonna do and then ask your opinion. So if you've got any advice on light deck and all those things, we're, we've already paid somebody to do that portion of it. Um, but you know, if you've got any thoughts on this thing, uh, please let me know. I'm very excited to hear from you. Um, we love you, uh, but that love pales in comparison to how much God loves you. I want you to rest in that love. And uh, um, as I say on my other channel, that if you know, you know, uh, I'm not gonna tell you what it is right now. Get prepped.